susundan Paano ba mapapansin o please naman Yung pangalan ko man lang ay hindi mo Okay, hindi ko alam Nung una ko siyang nir... Siyempre paulit-ulit kong nirarundown kung ano yung gagawin ko ng music video at kung ano yung ilalabas ko muna at hindi Hindi ko alam is one of the last Actually, parang second to the last siya after ng pagkatapos ng tarap ko siya. Hindi ko alam yung parang okay, nakaplano ako na hindi ko siya gagawin ng music video. Nakaplano ako na siya yung least na iperperform ko sa isang performance. But it turned out nung syempre nung nag-deliberation yung Star Music sa, sa lahat ng songs, this is what they want. So paulit-ulit ko siyang pinakinggan, pinauwi ko siya. And then sabi ko, okay. You have to listen pala talaga. Kahit sinasabi ko 10 years na ako sa business, kahit minsan alam ko na yung ginagawa ko. You really have to listen to your... to the people that are longer than you sa business kasi they know better. It's not that I know better sometimes, but you know in your heart kung ano yung gusto mo lang gawin. But in this part, nakinig ako sa kanila and it turned out it's very catchy it's very easy to sing and it's very easy to perform and yun nga yung kagandahan dito kasi nung nilabas natin nung nilabas ko siya parang natututunan mo siyang mahalin and yun yung kagandahan sa di ko alam kasi it's a song for everyone di ba and ang kagandahan pa nito nung nilabas natin siya sa Spotify and now ilalabas na siya sa physical album it turned out that it's very relatable to the fans. It's it's a song for the fans specifically. Why? Kasi sinasabi nung kanta na, hindi ko alam kung makikita, ka, kung makikita pa kita. Hindi ko alam kung makakasama kita. Hindi ko nga alam kung alam mo yung pangalan ko eh. Hindi ko alam kung paano kita makikita ulit or makakasama ulit. But every time I do, kinikilig ako. And matutulog na lang ako. Ikaw pa rin yung nasa isip ko. ba? And sana makita kita ulit. And yun yung... After, after seeing all the tweets and comments sa Instagram, sabi ko, oo nga, no? Ito pala yung pakiramdam ng fan. Of course, I'm a fan also. And nung, na, nung nakilala ko si Ellen DeGeneres, sabi ko siyempre, how I wish pwede ko siya ulit makita and sa- how I wish pwede ko ulit siya makausap. And it's the same thing. Bakit ba parati nagsiset visit yung mga fans? Bakit ba nakikigulo yung mga fans? Kahit araw-araw na nila ako nakikita sa mga mall shows, bakit pa- bakit ba bili sila ng bili ng paulit-ulit ng album, ng magazine ako? Simply because they want me to know their name. They want me to see them and they want me to recognize them. Para kapag nakita-kita kami, we're like a family, we're like friends. And yun yung sinasabi ng di ko alam. Hindi ko alam eh. Paano ba, paano ba, paano ba kita makakasama? Paano ba? And yun yung, yun yung dilemma ng mga fans parati. Na how I wish we could be together every day. And we can be with each other. And I'm so happy that um, nag, naintindihan nila kung ano yung sinasabi ng buong album ko. Na I want it to be relatable. Mi meeting na kami about sa di ko alam. It turned out that we wanted to be like a, a dance craze. So we made sure na madali yung steps. Yung space na gagalawan mo kahit maliit lang magagawa mo yung steps. So kapag napanood nila yung yung lyric video, nandoon may kita nila na you can be dancing to the tune na hindi mahirap. Kahit hindi ka magaling sumayaw, magagawa mo yung sayaw. And the best part of it is dahil nga naintindihan ko na it's very relatable to the fans, we want you to be part of the music video. Kasi yung nakikita nyo, it's just the lyric video. There's another music video coming out na I want you to be part of it. So I want you, if you have your own flavors on how you do the dance steps, just pass it to us. We'll let you know kung paano very very soon and we want you to be part of the music video why because my 10 years is basically for you